Welcome to another PyBytes training. I'm super excited to record this one. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Slack bot using the Bolt API. And we're going to make a very simple bot that just listens for the word joke. And when it intercepts that, it's going to return a random joke using the PyJokes library. You also learn about environment variables, how to load them in with the python.env package and of course the Slack Bolt API and the whole configuration, which is pretty granular in the Slack API. So I hope you enjoy this training. Let's dive straight in. First, we're going to create a new app from scratch and we call it Jokes. And we have to put it in one of our workspaces. Let's put this in an existing testing workspace. Create app. And let's run through the options I need to set. So first of all, I need to enable socket mode. This enables the bot to listen to all the messages that are being sent. I can give this any name. And here I got my app token, which I copy to my environment variables. So I have a repo. I already made a virtual environment and have some code I will show you in a minute. So let's start by adding these bot tokens. And we will have an app token and a bot token. And this is the app token. And this one will fill in later. And I will invalidate those tokens after this video. Because <laughs> yes, you want to keep those secret. Next, we're going to go to OAuth and permissions. And this is very granular. And like Slack really lets you give permissions at a very detailed level. But for now, I'm going to go IM history. I am read and I am write because I want this bot to respond to direct messages, not to channels necessarily. Now we can install the app. And that should give me a bot token, the XOXB token, the second token we will need. Lastly, we also need to do some event subscriptions. So we need to enable this and subscribe to bot events. Again, this is pretty granular. So let's take app mention and messages I am because I think the bot definitely needs this one. And I think that will do. You need to reinstall the app. So I already have a virtual environment, which I enabled and I already installed some requirements. So we need the PyJokes library to fetch random jokes, python.env to load environment variables, and we need both Slack Bolt and SDK, which I think SDK comes when you install Bolt uh, to work with the Slack API. So here is an app.py file, um, which I will walk through. And to work with a Slack bot, you don't need much more code than this. So it's pretty compact, 40 lines of code. So I do my imports. Uh, I use load.env from the python.env package to load in the environment variables I set in .env. Those are loaded into an environment, which I retrieve here. Then I make an app with the Slack bot token and I give it a name and I start my logger. Then you can use the app decorator uh, message or event, in this case message, and we can start to listen to all the messages that are come in thanks to the socket mode we enabled. And here we look for a literal string. We use recompile to match exactly a string starting with J and ending in E. So the word joke, nothing more, nothing less. 
And when that comes in, then we write a function that kicks off and first we check if the channel was actually uh, a direct message to the bot um, indicated as I am because for this bot, I don't want to spam the channels. I just want to have direct message interaction with the bot. So if it's not I am, we return early and we, if it is an I am, we parse the payload. So we get the channel and the user <laughs> and then the PyJokes library makes it very easy to retrieve a random joke. So let's quickly see that in action. And you get a bunch of random jokes, which are programming related. Uh, I log what was sent to which user, and then you can use the say function to send something to the channel. So I sent a joke and for the channel, I get the DM channel, which I parsed from the payload to send it back to the same channel where the original request came from. And then to kick it off, I have a main function, which uh, sets up a handler, which is uh, with using the socket mode handler, which comes from the Slack Bolt API, give it my app instance and the second token, the Slack app token, and then we start the handler. So let's uh, let's run this. Bolt app is running, so that's good. So let's go to my test Slack. And here we see now the jokes bot, but I cannot send messages yet because I uh, forgot an important setting. In app home, there's now a new setting that was not there before, before I installed the app. I need to allow users to send slash messages and messages from the messages tab. So I need to explicitly enable this and this will be auto saved uh, and it's not directly available. So I need to restart Slack. And now I have a DM window and I'm going to type joke and nothing happens yet. Oh, that's nice. Actually, I forgot a scope. So I need to chat, write, but so let's add that again going back to OAuth scopes chat send messages as jokes pretty explicit again that's uh, a sufficient of a change to have to reinstall the app so let's try that again and voila, I get jokes. If I do jokes, it doesn't work. If I do jog, it doesn't work because the app is looking for, in that message decorator, it's looking for the exact joke string. Why did a programmer quit his job? Because he didn't get a raise. <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> I hope you like this, a very simple bot. I will put the um, code on GitHub and uh, link the repo below. Again, it's um, a pretty short script. Um, go build your own and I hope this was useful and see you in the next video. Welcome back. I hope this short training video was useful and that you're having itchy fingers right now to build a bot yourself. It's uh, not as hard. Uh, is hopefully the takeaway from this video. So when you build a bot and you have a real use case, maybe you automated something at work or you helped a friend, comment below, let us know. Uh, you can share it in our community as well, also linked below. Of course, the code is linked below and make sure you hit that subscribe button below that you don't miss any future videos. We put a lot of uh, care uh, into our channel and we want to really keep producing top-notch content to help you in your Python developer journey, but also from the mindset side. So with that said, if you have any feedback, things we can improve, things you'd like to see, let us know, comment below, or hit us up on our Slack. Thanks for watching.